In this video, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin. This is an update video related to that cryptocurrency. Uh, as you may know, I started covering Dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies on my channel. So if that's something that's of interest to you, please consider subscribing and drop a like uh, and watch for future, future updates. I'm going to be covering the individual cryptocurrencies themselves, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, SafeMoon, Litecoin, you name it. There's videos coming uh, for them as well as just to keep you updated on all things overall in the cryptocurrency space. That is my goal is to help you make money if you are interested in the cryptocurrency market. Just A, understand what is going on. B, understand what is going on with your specific cryptocurrencies that you may like, like Dogecoin, to keep you updated so that you can know what is going on so that you can make a go or no-go decision on either A, getting into it or B, selling or C, you know, holding and, and, and just riding the wave, right? That's how I approach this is I want to help you make more money in the cryptocurrency market as well as the overall stock market. I have a ton of content. Check out my channel where I bring you all types of other type of stock related content, news update videos. I have series where I, where I give you stock picks. Uh, that's all here on my channel because I am simply building a community here to help people make money with the stock market and crypto and just keep you updated. My name is Austin Hilton. I'm a 30 plus year investor and I just want to help you. And that's why I'm building this community. And I just, I just enjoyed making this content and help people out. Uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only. So let's go take a look at what the latest is with Dogecoin. We're going to look at the, we're going to look at the price. We're going to look at some information around it. Why are people buying it? Why is it going up? Is it going to continue to go up? Uh, maybe what do we think it's going to be trading at in a month, two months? Uh, there's a lot of speculation around Dogecoin. A lot of information coming out. It's one of the most popular and discussed uh, cryptocurrencies, really, on YouTube as well as in the media. Just a ton going on with it. Here we go. So you can see that the current price of uh, Dogecoin is 31 cents and change. Uh, it did. Uh, it is moved up a little bit today. Uh, it's moving around just just a, a little bit. But really, what's more prominent is how much it has gone up and how fast it has gone up. And that's really what I want to get into and really what I want to uh, talk about. And you can see from the overall chart there is a tremendous amount of volatility. Uh, as it relates to this, as it relates to this, um, uh, this this cryptocurrency, it, uh, it it it's absolutely moved up. But then it it's got really really big, you know, spikes, peaks, and uh, you know it just moves around a lot. So I say this in all in all of my cryptocurrency videos. It's one of those scenarios where um, if you're thinking about getting into cryptocurrency, if you have a if you have FOMO, a fear of missing out, right? Um, you've got to be okay with a couple things. Number one, volatility. Number two, you got to be okay with uh, losing your potential entire investment or however much you put into it. That has happened. It can happen. Uh, things of that nature. And you just got to be okay with it. I liken and kind of think about investing in cryptocurrency like I'm going to Las Vegas. And what I mean by that is that let's say I'm going to take $500 to Las Vegas and I'm going to go gamble with that money. That's how I look at it. I may lose that entire $500. I have the I have the possibility of coming home with, you know, thousands potentially that 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 I, you know, that I that that 500 made me because of that that uh, you know that betting and scenario there, right? And that's the I think the scenario and kind of how you may need to look at cryptocurrency, especially some of these coins like Dogecoin and some of the other ones. Uh, to and to an extent, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Although I'm not comparing Dogecoin to Ethereum and Bitcoin, I'm just saying that you know. And by the way, I own Bitcoin. I own Ethereum. I am going to be buying Dogecoin as well. I'm going to because I, I'm I definitely want to buy and hold some because I think that Dogecoin has the extreme possibility. Uh, to break out and continue to be a one of the preeminent, you know, cryptocurrencies as we look down the road, a year down, etc. Uh, I'm I, I'm very bullish on Dogecoin. I think that it has the possibility for sure. My point to you is, is that you've got to be okay with the volatility, and you've got to be okay with everything that goes on around the these these cryptocurrencies, especially like Dogecoin and things like that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So if you're cool with that, you're good with it. Then yeah, continue forward and let's. Uh, continue on with some some news having to relate to this. Okay, so uh, I've got about three pieces of content here I want to cover real quickly for you. Uh, it is absolutely Dogecoin has has been moving up and moving down. We just saw from that chart there is volatility as I've, as I've mentioned. So between April 15th, Doge increased uh, by more than 250%. 
leading to an all-time price of 45 cents. Now, we again, it is backed off of that, right? It is currently trading at around the 31 cents. So it's already backed off of those highs from when this article was published, okay? The decrease continued around April 23rd, uh, and it, it, did do, it did drop down to 16 cents. Uh, let, me, let me make sure. Uh, so there was, there was a significant amount of buying pressure on it, and then it's been moving up. Okay, it's been moving up. So we had a, we had a scenario where we had a lot of buying pressure on it, and now we're moving up. This particular piece of information is looking at some technical analysis that I thought was relevant to bring you uh, to for this for this uh, particular uh, for, for for Doge. Technical indicators are still very bullish. I think that that I wanted to bring you that so that you can see that and know kind of what's going on. Again, I bring you this information. I spent a lot of time sifting through a lot of information on Dogecoin and the other coins, Ethereum, etc. Because I want you to be aware of what is going on. Okay, uh, so the MACD and R RSI are increasing. Okay, uh, cryptocurrency trader Al Street outlined a Doge chart stating that the next wave is likely to take the token to an all-time high above 55 cents per token. Okay, so you can see there's his chart if you want to pause and just take a look at that. The dozen data showed a completed A B structure. If correct, Doge will begin an impulsive upward movement up afterwards. Okay, if we lose an external fib retra retracement on the entire decrease, the closest resistance area would be found at 62 cents. Okay, if we a decrease below the April 24th low of 22 cents per token, that's right there, wouldn't invalidate this particular wave count. Okay, moving on. Uh, yeah, that's talking about Doge, Bitcoin. So if you want to talk, if you want to pause and kind of look look at that right there, I'm not going to really get into that. So conclusion, Doge has likely began a new bullish impulse and it could increase it toward a new all-time high price. Seems to be the case for both Bitcoin and USD pairs. So it looks like that 62 cents could be our next target, kind of our next our next uh, resistance level that we've got to get through to continue to move up. So therein lies most likely your Dogecoin prediction that we've got to get to that. And it look it's looking very, very bullish per these technical analysis you just saw me kind of, you know, go over that that could happen. Okay. So will it reach a new record? That's the question. Okay. And so we know that there's a tremendous amount. I've covered this in previous Dogecoin uh, videos. There is the celebrity factor that is applying to Dogecoin. We've got uh, Elon, and he's sending out tweets. He tweeted this week that he's going to be on Saturday Night Live. He calls himself the Doge Further, Doge Father, excuse me. And he's going to be. He's talking about that. He tweets out, and the, you know the, the the token immediately popped and went up. Right. Uh, we've got uh, Mark Cuban talking about it, tweeting about it. He went on Ellen. I did a video. He went on Ellen and talked about Dogecoin on the on Ellen. So there's a lot of press and celebrity factor that is doing what? It's out there creating interest specifically in Dogecoin that's a very interesting to me. And that's partly the reason that I'm looking at maybe getting into it and, and, and buying some Doge is because you know, you've just got that volatility and you've got that that factor. I mean, this thing, I, we could wake up one day and it's a buck, a, a token. That could happen. And it could happen just off of a couple of tweets. Think about this. It's uh, I'm recording this video on Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Elon is going to go on Saturday Night Live and he could mention it on Saturday Night Live. Think about that. And think about how much that that will do where people are like what the hell is dogecoin and they're going to be like what they're going to be looking at it and that could be now that doesn't change the underlying fundamentals or anything like that and my point is is that this is a this this cryptocurrency specifically has that celebrity factor and I think I'm only one, I'm think I'm the only guy on YouTube talking about that that could definitely just continue to push this thing forward and up could it pull back from those levels yeah absolutely volatility right vegas all those kind of things okay um, yeah, and then this was the quote we just we just looked at from that previous article that it it look it's looking like it's it's may, might be getting ready to, to make a bullish run. That was the technical analysis, and you add in that celebrity factor could be um, could be a possibility of a you know continuing perfect wave, if you will, um, of moving forward. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else that I want to talk to you about here. 
So this is talking about the tweets. We already mentioned that. Uh, based, oh, this is another thing, is that uh, after uh, Cuban's tweets, and he was talking about, and I apologize if I didn't mention this, Mark Cuban, if you didn't know this, is talking about Do Dogecoin as one of the main cryptocurrencies that could, in fact, be a cryptocurrency that people use to actually buy and sell goods. Um, there was on, uh, it was on Dogecoin the other day, was talking about uh, Newegg, was on their Twitter feed. Newegg, the huge online retailer, PC retailer, and PC accessories and things like that, was talking about the ability maybe to be soon to be able to accept Dogecoin for payment. Uh, you've got Mark Cuban talking about that he, his uh, in his Dallas Mavericks uh, merchandise shop you, that they're approaching six thousand Dogecoin transactions. So you've got all that, and then and you've just got it, there's a lot of moving parts here. To Dogecoin and how it could evolve and continue to evolve, and that's another again another reason that I am very bullish on it, and that I think that this is one that I'm going to buy and I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold some some Doge, right? But I'm okay with that volatility. And again, that whole Vegas analogy that I mentioned earlier. Okay, uh, investment an investment in Dogecoin is not about necessarily making money, but it's about being part of something bigger. I do think there's some value in that statement, and that this is. This is kind of a cultural phenomenon that we really are starting to see with Dogecoin. So I'm going to wrap it up there, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my goal is real simple, is to keep you updated with all the news related to your favorite cryptocurrencies. By the way, drop in the comments below if there's a cryptocurrency you want me to cover. I'm going to be covering the biggest guys first. And some of the ones that are that are excuse me that are getting a lot of uh, media attention and a lot of just overall attention right now, like I cover Safe Moon, um, and when, by me covering the cryptocurrency is not a stamp of approval or disapproval from me on that. It's just that I think that it's newsworthy and that that's why I'm covering it. And I want to cover it on my channel to help make you guys aware. Those of you guys who hate, who care and care about that particular crypto. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you down the road. Again, subscribe, drop a like. Love to have you part of the community. If you got value, drop a like. I appreciate it. I'll see you down the road. Go make some money. Bye.